I was able to go see Blue Beetle the other day. I'm pretty sure most of you are currently watching Blue Beetle or are debating. Maybe you should go watch it. But I'll give you my honest thoughts, like my genuine honest thoughts. Non-biased, maybe a little bit biased, but yeah, you should go watch it. It is a pretty good film. It's a pretty solid film. If you didn't like The Flash, if that didn't live up to your expectations, I think Blue Beetle will kind of surprise you a little bit at how well it's done. Mine is the third act, because the third act was kind of like, eh, kind of there. Mostly the final fight scene, because we've seen that trope a thousand times. Good guy realizes what he's done, blah, blah, blah. It kind of it kind of gave you like a spider-man 2 type of ending with that thing it was okay it wasn't that bad but and some of the lines were a bit cheesy it was a bit cheesy at times it could have been a little bit better but overall it's a solid film i give it like a seven and a half out of ten originally i give it an eight but like after thinking about it a bit more i think seven and a half out of ten like suits it i think as zolo i can't i can't really pronounce his last name did a pretty good job playing jaime he got his characters spot on everything about about them like playing jaime pretty good i really hope we get to see more jaime or jaime and like the far future of the dcu because i believe this is connected to the new dcu reboot that james gunn is continuing producing with superman legacy i really hope we get to see this character in like the booster gold series if it continues or even like the green lantern series because i think that would be pretty freaking cool but as far as the movie goes, I think this is a pretty solid origin film for like Jaime. You see the beginning, how he gets the scarab and how he ends up with the scarab. I think it was a pretty fun film. As far as like the villains go, I really didn't like the choice of villains. I mean, the OMAC project, that's a weird choice to be like a villain. The CEO trope being evil. I mean, we've seen that trope like a thousand, a thousand times in almost every superhero film. Like, it's kind of generic. As far as the bad guy goes, Carmax, I think that was his name. I can't really remember. He was... It was okay. I mean, I like when he was menacing. But then when he turned, like, good towards the end, it, it was like... Okay. I mean, I guess it makes sense. But, like, honestly, I would have preferred if he just stayed kind of evil. And just, like did more the entire time however he succeeded where most villains kind of don't succeed he killed off like Jaime's dad unintentionally but like he pretty much succeeded well actually no that was a bad ceo i think her name was vanessa quorum she, she succeeded where like other villains don't she killed one of the uh, parents one of the superheroes dads and honestly that moment was pretty heartbreaking like there is a lot of moments in this one where it's like emotional like i didn't really cry towards it but like if you're kind of an emotional person you will you will cry it's a really solid film as far as his dad goes all the characters in the family cast pretty fun they are very supportive and if you're like hispanic or anything you'll definitely relate to like all the characters and the film how they're portrayed like some of the some of the moments some of the jokes it's really relatable it's actually pretty funny like it genuinely sticks landing as far as comedy goes in this film it is solid it is very solid it doesn't feel cheesy can't be it just kind of feels natural like some of the at times some of the humor might be a bit forced due to george lopez but other than that it is pretty fun it is pretty fine like it feels natural like some other films i've seen the past year but it is pretty good as far as the characters go they actually do feel like characters like the side characters feel like side characters they don't feel like irrelevant they feel relevant to the story and as far as like any other superhero goes there was none in this film aside from Jaime and the other blue beetles which they were kind of name dropped as well as bat as well as uh flash which was kind of surprising superman was also name dropped and i really like how it's kind of small self-centered story that doesn't involve like saving the world or whatever the case is it's just Jaime trying to save his parents and trying to get rid of the scarab it's a pretty fun story this care this version of Jaime heavily reminds me of the one from Batman Brave and the Bold if you've seen that series then you will definitely enjoy this version of Jaime but if you want a more serious type of uh, Jaime like the one from Junk Justice or from the Injustice 2 video games. You probably won't get that. It's not really similar. I think we're going to build up to seeing them that. But I very much enjoyed it. One of my like complaints I did have about the film was the fights. Like There wasn't really too many fights and the times there were. I really wanted it to be longer. Like The action sequences in the, in the film were pretty good. I don't like how it was kind of... Uh, all taking place at night like the daytime scenes were like honestly amazing i really don't get why they had to go like for the fighting scenes at night i guess because it's cheaper to produce as far as the location of like blue beetle where it takes place i don't get that i don't get the change from el paso to pasadena 
city i think that's the city it was called why he gave like jaime his like brand new city i mean i understand like the elements that we're trying to go for like the rich versus poor type of aspect immigration and all that kind of stuff it was really really relatable and like it felt very down to earth but at the same time you could have gone for el paso because in the comics like he's generally from like el paso and he has to struggle with being like an immigrant and being like the son of an immigrant i think el paso would have been a perfect choice because you don't get too many films like located in texas at least superhero superhero films and like a superhero film set like in el paso i think that would be pretty fun i think that would have been pretty fun to explore but it's a shame they kind of removed that due to whatever shenanigans is happening at dc but i did like the easter egg they included where jaime lives el paso street that was pretty nice but they really could have stuck with el paso don't know why they didn't do it i think the director confirmed something about it i haven't really looked too much into it aside from those two complaints it's a pretty fun film the practical effects the suit looks amazing man like every time this suit came on i was like kind of analyzing thinking all right how am i gonna do this suit? how am i gonna like improve my own blue beetle man but overall it's a genuinely solid solid film i really do hope we get to see more of this version of jaime in the upcoming dcu series i really hope we get to see maybe in peacemaker that would be pretty funny maybe in the booster gold series but Who's to say? As far as would I recommend this movie? Yeah. If you want something like action-y, something like Power Rangers-esque. If you like My Hero Academia Season 1, you'll very much like this film. Because that's exactly what this film felt like. So, I got the popcorn beetle bucket. That is pretty cool. It opens up. Right here. I might turn this into a Lego set. Definitely would recommend go watch it. One of the better DCU films that came out in like the past few years. Like it's really a bit better than like The Flash. That's for sure. A bit better than Aquaman. But it's probably like maybe my fourth uh, favorite film of the year. Does it beat Ninja Turtles? No. Does it beat Guardians? No. But it is up there. It is up there on my list as like one of the better superhero films of the year. It's better than Ant-Man for sure. With that being said, did you go watch the film? What you think of the film? Do you agree with some of my criticism and some of my takes on this film? And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Check out my other channel and check out my video on Anime Expo. If you went, what you think of it? Want to hear my thoughts? Check that out. And yeah, peace.